Welcome in PLC Smarty video. In this video, we show how we can get the number of the user group. As you can see, here we have some user groups. These groups have a name and also have a number. For example, administrator group have number one and users have number two. What we need is show this group number on our HMI runtime screen. Okay, so we insert some IO files and also some text group number, for example. Okay. Okay, also we change the pixels of the text. Okay, so when we log in with the user, we for now can see the username, but also we need to see a group number of this user. So when the administrator log in, we want to see the number number one. Okay. For this, you can use the scheduled tasks, same like for the user name. So we create the task user group. Also as a trigger, we use the user change. Oops, sorry. Now we have it. So in this task, we insert a second function to get group number of the user and this group number we insert to the tag user group number of data type integer okay we copy this tag name and paste it here okay and also we use it for the IO file to which show the user group number Okay. Also, we don't want to see the the plus thing. Okay. Save it, and now we can try if it works in the simulation. There is a problem with the text because of the simulation, sorry. So now we log on with the administrator user. How you can see for now, no user is logging. And also this is why we see the group number zero. But when we log in as an administrator, oops, sorry. So now we can see, we can see the name of the administrator and also we see the group number of the user which is logged in. For this number one administrator. <coughs> you can use it for example when you want to, I don't know, for example you don't want to use security function for example for the button but you can for example use the animation control enable only when the user group number is for example number one only for the administrators okay so we can try it again go to the simulation Sorry. Okay. 
sorry, I don't click control enable only when the group number of the user is number one. Okay, we go back to the simulation. So how you can see now we can't click on the button because the group number is not number one. But when the but when the group number is number one of the locked user, then you can click on the button. The control enable is enabled, and when you log out, you can't click on the button. Okay, so this is all for this video where I show how to get the number of the group in which is locked user in the HMI runtime. So thank you for watching this video and goodbye.